Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to run Counter-Strike 1.6, the original one on Arch Linux using Wine without a Steam, without nothing, and of course for free. So the first thing is to obtain the game. If you have the CD, that's fantastic. Otherwise, you can just do a simple Google search on the internet and you will find game setup file available anywhere. The one I found it and I already tested it is cybersports.lt and there's no spam nothing if you just go on the website and try to download it. It downloads for you immediately without any complications. So I have already downloaded it and it's here and we are going to install it using Wine. In case that you haven't installed Wine or you haven't configured it properly, make sure to watch my previous video. The link is on the top right corner. So we are going to run the setup file and install the game. Do not create the icon on desktop. I will tell you later on because it will be useless and let's uh, install the game. All right, so the game setup is done. We should not launch it because there are a couple of more things we have to do. The next step is to find Windows fonts and install it under Wine basically. So if you go here to the Wine directory and windows and fonts with capital F we do ls there is no fonts because wine doesn't install the default windows fonts if you have a windows machine you can just go grab all the fonts from there or you can just find it on the internet the website i found it that offers windows fonts for windows 7 8 10 11 whatever hustle free without any complications is w7df.com so you can go to the windows 7 page and then click download it will open a google drive which is really not my favor but here we are just trying to download the fonts you can download the fonts i have already downloaded the fonts and it's under my cs directory so i am going to unzip it and now i should have a directory here right so i'm going to the directory and then going to move all these files to divine drive c windows and fonts and this is necessary because if you try to launch the game without any fonts since the original counter strike relies on the default windows fonts it doesn't render the menu for you so you cannot click anything to play the game or open the options nothing all right the next step is to install your video driver 32-bit version of it so that the wine can actually use it for that you need to know which sort of hardware do you use for amd you need to install lib32 dash mesa and then here lib32 volcan uh, radeon or amd volcan same for the intel same for nvidia uh, so the key here is to install the opengl multi-lib and volcan multi-lib in my case it is lib32 mesa since i'm using intel graphics and lib32 volcan intel so let me actually type it sudo pacman dash s y lib32 mesa lib32 volcan intel i have already installed all this stuff but just for the sake of completeness of this video i am showing you and afterwards we have to actually install one more package which is called wine gecko so if i try to search for it wine and we should see wine gecko somewhere yes wine gecko and this is just a built-in replacement for internet explorer and it's sort of needed by the game i am not sure why but nonetheless we are going to install it otherwise the game the game will launch but you cannot play the game now we are kind of ready to launch the game except just one more thing we need to be mindful about it so the game is installed under games directory 
and here if we do ls we don't see any counter strike exe file that is because the counter strike is embedded in the half-life game but just we need to add a appropriate flag to run the counter strike not the half-life and if i do a star.bat there's a bash file here, counter strike. The problem is we cannot run the bash file on wine. So we have to kind of replace it with the shell shell script. So let's first actually see the content of the bash file and see what, what it has. So it was counter strike dot bat. So this start is a bash file specific. And here we have whatever that we want. So hlxa dash steam to enable a steam and then the game is a counter strike and we pass a bunch of other parameters for the no joysticks and things like that so i'm just gonna copy this completely and type wine and then pass the batch file content so now it should launch the game and we can of course change the resolution etc but we give it a bit of time so you see that the game is launched and we already have the sound as well so if you go to the option here you can actually select I don't recommend you to run the software one use the OpenGL and switch the display mode to widescreen so you can actually adjust the resolution based on what you want for me HD is good enough so I'm going to close it and then let's try to run the game with three player easy mode because I'm recording the video on this old machine and running the game with too many bots will kind of cause us to crash. I just want to showcase you that the game actually works. So if you see that the game actually is working fantastically. I'm going to just close it and exit the game. And the last step for us is to just create a shell script to run the game easily right so i'm going to create the game cs.sh and bean sh and y this one so chmod a plus x cssh and then we can just type we can just run the game like this without typing anything and of course you can create a shortcut and put it on your desktop to not even like go to the game directory and run the CSSH script. So that's all for this video. I see you in the next one.